is transferred to the incoming administration come January 7th, um, 2017. I think that we need it absolutely. I mean, if you look, for instance, at the act that um, precedes it, or that actually enjoins us to have such a team, the Act 845, the Presidential Transition Act, it actually foresees a situation where one administration would actually bring its work to some end. And from that particular point, we would have to then transition into a new administration. And in so doing, you need to have the levers of political power and the embers of political power still working. You need to have law and order in place. You need to have the various ministries. You need to have the various functionaries, both from the presidency down to the local government staff in good state. The Presidential Act, for example, addresses issues to do with Parliament, for example. It addresses issues to do with the Presidency, the assets that they have, the liabilities that they have, handing over notes, so on and so forth. So it's a moment of great importance in this country. So for, for such a team, uh, if nothing like that happened, does it affect the work of the incoming administration? Absolutely, I think so. I mean, you're going to have chaos. In the absence of law, what ruins is chaos. And that is why law is extremely very important. Mm. Other than that, what you are likely to then mm. see is a situation where it becomes the rule of man. Somebody has to make a decision, mm. make determination as to when you have to meet and when you don't have to meet, whether you have to meet by consensus. And do not forget that we have actually left a period of great competition. This is now a moment for great cooperation. And so you need an organized framework to guide and steer that process. If you look, for instance, at the bill, I mean, I can, on the top of my head, just say that, you know, Article 1, I think, um, Clause 1, mm -hmm. Section 1, Clause 1, I mean, addresses the issue about the timing. And so you found that immediately the, how do you call the announcements were being made, 24 hours time, this body was put into place. And let us also not forget that we're dealing also with institutional memory. We need people with sagacity. We need people with thought. People who understand the procedures and processes of government to make sure that the countries, the handing over, this is a handing over not to an MPP handing over, this is a handing over to a government. And so we need people who have a flow with government, who understands the operations of government, to be able to take and ask the right questions, the appropriate questions, so that they themselves you know, they are receptacle of uh, good ideas for and on behalf of all the people of this country. They are doing a national duty. That is what I want to underline. It's a national duty. And so you, it calls into issue, it calls into questions, people with that institutional memory. And I think that if you look at the assemblage of persons actually now on that committee, on both sides, I think it's excellent. Um, in terms of cooperation, how should their body language be? Because we've just come out of a very heated uh, political um, campaign and election that, that is seeing a new government elect. In terms of cooperation, what would you tell the members? What, what would you want to see happen? I think that the, the most important thing is that um, they, they must build some trust. They need to build some trust. This is, I mean, without trust, uh, it, it, will, it will fester the type of engagements that they have. And so the first important thing is trust. The other thing must be openness. Because if the incoming administration perceives that they are not getting the full grips of information that should get to them, I'm sure there will be danger. Senior lecturer at the political science department